Time now for the Due North Road Trip. Brought to you by Ice Castle Fish Houses and RV, your home in the great outdoors. We sit in the Bluffland's landscape region or the Driftless area um, and as you can see the bluffs here are about 400 feet high. I'm Ann Salness and I am the park manager here at Beaver Creek Valley and at Great River Bluff State Parks. I believe there's 1,200 acres in the statutory boundary and we own about 900. This park was started in 1936 and all the local residents used to come to the Big Spring area for picnics. 400 people would be here for a Sunday afternoon picnic. It's pretty interesting. So this is the Big Spring and there's usually lots of trout right down in there. I can't see any right from up here. Yeah, and the kids love to get in the water, but it's 42 degrees, so they don't stay in there very long, but it's still fun. So Beaver Creek starts up at the Big Spring, and it just goes, runs all the way through the park about two miles. There's various good-sized pools for fishing. We have native brook and brown trout. The fishing is good. There's a lot of fish in the stream. People are happy fishing here. We also have people who come um, for bird watching. The bird variety here is astounding. The rare birds in the park are the Louisiana water thrush, which, which nests along the stream, um, cerulean warbler, and Acadian flycatcher. Yeah, the spring wildflowers are pretty awesome as well. For its size, this park is one of is the most biologically diverse state park in the system. There's 27 rare species here. Um, for a park that's only about 900 acres, that's really astounding. It's very pristine and peaceful, and I think that's why we're getting so many repeat visitors. Camping's a real favorite. We have 51 campsites. Wonderful. It's just um, midweek. We have it to ourselves, basically. Uh, we're the BMW Motorcycle Owners Club of Minnesota. We're all retired and doing a midweek camp out. You know, a lot of state parks, you, you can be in a, on the prairie and the wind starts blowing and these tents won't take it, but down here you're protected. We do have eight miles of trails. This trail going straight ahead is the Beaver Creek Trail and it's everybody's favorite trail because it follows the stream for a mile and a half. Hello, you're on a good trail. There's a nice overlook at the top. We're about 400 feet up right now. The view from the top is worth your hike. Celebrating our anniversary, 13 years. Yep, we've hiked every trail here yep. in the last four days. Yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. And this is one we haven't been to before. We even have the state park map at home. If you do want to get a workout, you can hit a lot of the little uh, tails that spin off. They're a little more, uh, you know, uphill, a little more steep than what we used to, but it's a good workout. It's really been peaceful the last few days. So. Hello. Good, how are you guys? Did you go all the way to the end? We went Almost. just about, yeah. Nice. I love all the flowers, and I like to see when the insects start coming, and people are excited to get back in the park. Camping starts. And people love this park. They are not, they're surprised when they come and say, oh my gosh, it's my new favorite park now. It's beautiful here in the park.